Hey there, my name is Oliver Fernandez and I'm a construction business owner and a real estate investor. And today I want to share with you the top three tips for working with subcontractors. So when I think about subcontractors, I think about growth, expansion, doing more than I ever thought possible. Once I started using subcontractors, I was able to go after way bigger jobs than I ever thought possible. So the number one thing is use subcontractors. One of my mentors is always telling me, hey Oliver, you're never gonna attract somebody on your team that has a higher lid than you. I agree with that, because if they have a higher lid, they're probably out already doing their own thing. But you can hire a subcontractor that'll execute in tandem with you, in partnership with you, to execute on the project. I use them to expand my skill set. So in the beginning when I first started in construction, I was a civil guy installing big 84 inch pipe, underground RCP pipe, sanitary sewer pipe. I wasn't a mechanical guy, but I started getting these bigger projects that were mechanically driven and I needed someone to help execute on those projects. I did that through partnerships, through subcontractors. Number two thing, they allow you to expand without having to take money out of your pocket. What do I mean by that? Well, when you're using a subcontractor, you don't have to pay their payroll that next week. Whereas if you bring on a team member, they want to get paid the next week. All of the materials you're responsible for. Whereas a subcontractor, they will typically pay for materials. And then you get another 30 days on top of that before they're looking for their payment. So you can oftentimes get 30, 60, 90 day terms with these subcontractors, helping you grow and expand and do more without having to have the actual cash in your pocket right here, right now. The number three thing, it's all around the big C, and that's control. Subcontractors are good, they can help you grow, they can help you expand, but if you're not controlling them and they're just running wild and doing whatever they wanna do and thinking they run the show, then you can have problems. So with subcontractors, I always trust, but I also verify. With subcontractors, they'll go in and they'll say they're gonna be there at a certain time, but they've also made another commitment to another person for that time. So you gotta stay on top of them to keep their attention. And one of my favorite ways that I use to keep their attention is I make sure I pay my subcontractors on time. This is just a principle of life. People always go towards pleasure and away from pain. If you're paying your subcontractor on time when you say you're gonna pay them, they're gonna show up for you versus showing up for a contractor that doesn't pay them and they gotta fight, yell, and scream to get their money. So those are my top three tips for dealing with subcontractors. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click subscribe down below and give me a thumbs up. You can reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook at Oliver Fernandez 3 I have new videos just like this one dropping every week. So drop a comment down below and let me know what you wanna hear next. Until then, keep growing and keep learning. Just do it.